DJ, considering the importance of this series, how tough is it on you guys to get swept tonight and, and to be outscored 16-1? Uh, I mean, it's big. Uh, everyone in that locker room knows the significance of this series. Um, it's a great opportunity for us, and uh, we just didn't come come out and execute today. But tomorrow's another day. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Hey, DJ, what do you feel like you're doing differently now than you did before you got sent to Bowie? Um, a few different things. I, I mean, my I was able to clear my head, and I'm just mentally in a, in a better place, not trying to do too much and just staying, staying within myself and trusting that the, the work that I put in um, during the off season and while I was down there in Bowie, was kind of just a reset for me and just getting the opportunity now and going out there and trying to do the best I can. Just to follow up quickly, what was some of that work you did in Bowie? Um, just going back to who, who I was, trying to trying to use the whole field. Um, I think you, you guys saw it the last at bat. Um, They're going to shift me, and if they pitch, throw it out there, just using that part of the field. I know a lot of my hits have been pull side, um, but that's just where the pitches, pitches have been. Um, but just trying to stay up the middle, stay in the big parts of the field, and not being jumpy to the ball and kind of just reacting to it, letting my hands do the work and trusting myself. Joe Treza. DJ, have you ever been as hot or locked in as you are right now? And would you say that that demotion motivated you in any way? Um, locked in. I mean, I've had times where I've been locked in. I, I've told you guys before when I earned my promotion last year, I, I was pretty locked in then as well. But as far as the home runs, not, never really as many as, as it's been, honestly. Um, and that's kind of the work that we were able to put in and Bowie, just understanding my swing and also during the off season and not trying to do too much, but letting my body generate the power as opposed to just over swinging. Um, as far as getting demoted and motivating me, I mean, obviously you don't want to get sent down, but I'm a motivated person every single day. Um, I, I feel like I have something to prove every time I step on that field. Um, so I guess you could say it was a little bit more of a push, but I push myself pretty hard. Dan Charles. You're moved. Uh, Stan, I think you're muted. Stan, you're still muted. If you could just unmute yourself real quick. I apologize, guys. It's okay. My first one of the year. Uh, DJ, uh, the conviction that you're swinging with right now, I've never seen you in your previous – stints with the ball club swing with that much conviction does that come from getting your head straight relaxed a little bit um i think so um just when you get in the box and you're not worried about uh, outside things and you're just relaxed and seeing the ball and try to put a good swing on it i i think that comes from that and just trusting that the work that i put in is is good enough and just going out there and performing um, preparing every single day, going through my routine, and just being able to play every single day, it's a blessing. And like I told you guys before, God's already written my story. I'm just, I'm just following in what he's done for me.